hello everyone in this video we are going to learn list collection in Scala so first we will see how to create a list in Scala so you can create a list using this notation here you can specify the element so it will return a list and that list will be pointed out with variable a uh, one more method that is used uh, by most of the programmers is using double colon symbol so uh, how it works uh, this symbol says that in left side you have to specify a element which is you going to add to your list and in the right side you have to specify a list variable so if we will write here a it means we are adding 21 to list a and this new list will be stored in b now uh, the question is that if we are going to create a list from the scratch so how we are going to use this double colon to create a new list so here comes the role of nil so the meaning of nil a empty list so remember this one double colon how it works left side would be a element right side would be a list now if you will write here so it is start from this side first it will process this one the meaning of this one is that add 21 to a empty list and this entire expression will be replaced with a list variable now this 12 will be added to that list and there are some other methods as well to create list like range fill tabulate but we are going to see only these two now the question is that how we are going to access element from the list so we are going to use for loop so in for loop we are going to iterate over let's say on list a so for temporary we will take a variable t and here we will write a so the meaning of this expression is that we are going to iterate over list a and uh, every element one by one will be stored on t And here we will print the value of t. Okay, so let's see the execution of this program. So first we will compile it. You can use Scala C or you can use FSC. The difference is that FSC compile your code faster than the Scala C. Now we will execute our program. So if you can see it has printed all the element from the list there is one more uh, method that method is with the help of for each so you have to use list variable name and then you have to write for each so this for each automatically will take a temporary variable you no need to uh, write a temporary variable and here just write print ln so it will automatically trade over this list take every element one by one and pass that element to this function so the output of this one also would be the same so we are getting the same as we have got in the previous one now sometime you want to add every element with a let's say a constant or you want to print that addition so how we are going to access here every element so the thing is that uh, Scala create a temporary variable in case of for each and that temporary variable is underscore so this underscore so if here we are going to use underscore so the meaning of underscore is the temporary variable which is going to take element from the list a one by one so if you will see the output of this program it also would be the same so you can use this underscore for that purpose thank you very much for watching